This video will cover part 3 of how to solve an integral using straight difference method. This time, we will look at how to integrate one problem with each method. Let's try integrating to see which method you like best or which is easiest. First, let's use your substitution. Let u equal 9 minus x squared. Derive on each side. du equals minus 2x dx. Then divide by minus 2 on each side. Minus 1 over 2 du equals x dx. Back to the original. The integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus x squared times x dx equals integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus x squared is u x dx is minus 1 over 2 then du then minus 1 over 2 integral of make the power form u to the power of minus 1 over 2 du now integrate use the power for integration integral of x to the power of n dx equals x to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c equals minus 1 over 2 times u to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c equals minus 1 over 2 times u to the power of 1 over 2 over 1 over 2 plus c then 1 over 2 is cancelled minus u to the power of 1 over 2 is the square root of u plus c. Then final answer is minus the square root of u was 9 minus x squared plus c. We will use u substitution again this time, but let's say u equals square root of 9 minus x squared. Compare with u substitution used in the first method. Square on each side u squared equals 9 minus x squared, then derive on each side, 2u du equals minus 2x dx, then 2 is cancelled, we can rewrite as minus u du equals x dx. Back to the original, we can rewrite as integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus x squared times x dx equals integral of 1 over square root of 9 minus x squared is u then x dx is minus u du then minus integral of u is cancelled du then means minus u plus c then minus u was this one square root of 9 minus x squared plus c after finishing the integration compare it with the first one it can be seen that it is much simpler when the whole square root is set as u than when the value inside the square root is set as u this is the last one Use trigonometric substitution. Let x equal 3 sine theta, then derive on each side. dx equals 3 cosine theta d theta. From here, square root of 9 minus x squared equals square root of 9 minus x squared, 3 sine theta squared equals square root of 9 minus 9 sine square root of theta. Then you can factor, take out 9, then 1 minus sine square root of theta equals square root of 9 times 1 minus sine square root of theta is cosine square root of theta. The final answer is 3 cosine theta. Then back to the original, integral of 
x equals 3 sin theta over the denominator is 3 cos theta dx equals 3 cos theta d theta then 3 cos theta is cancelled then 3 integral of sin theta d theta 3 times integral of sin theta is minus cos theta plus c from here divide by 3 on each side sin theta equals x over 3 then draw the right angle triangle where the respect angle is theta then sin theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse x and 3 here then if b then b squared plus x squared equals 3 squared b squared plus x squared equals 9 then b squared equals 9 minus x squared b equals square root of 9 minus x squared back to the original minus 3 times cosine theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse square root of 9 minus x squared over 3 plus c then 3 is cancelled the final answer is minus square root of 9 minus x squared plus c we have the same answer i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.